Hey guys, Daniel Lewis here. I'm back to share with you some gold, guys. Some some more bombs to drop. Okay, so the other day we we're talking a little bit about the what, the why, and the how. Okay, I wanted to touch on that again a little bit more to give you some more data that you know kind of expands on that. Okay, this has to do with the way you ask questions, the questioning to actually get to the bottom of what it is your customer is looking for, what service they need, what product they need, or what investment they want to make. Okay, so we call them magic questions. You got to ask the right questions. They're magical because they get the juice, the data that you need for them to be able to, you know, make a logical decision with their next purchase or data that will be given to you so you know how to make sense in them spending more money on you than with somebody else. So for example, if there was one thing I could improve for you over what you already have, what would that one thing be? That's tight, man, that's tight. If there was one thing that you could improve over what you already have, what would that one thing be? If, if it were impossible for you to fail, what would you accomplish today? What problem are you trying to solve? These are magic questions that tell, God's gonna tell you, oh, I'm trying to solve getting a bigger car, a bigger house, a more comfortable house, a house with a bigger garden, a house with a pool. You know, a house that has more rooms for me and my two new kids. You know, I got my mom moving in with me now. I need a house now, not because I want to have a house, but because I want to have space for my mom, my brother, whatever. Different reasons. There's a million reasons why somebody would want to buy a product, right? That are completely different reasons from somebody else wanting to buy the same product. See the, that car right there? That car right there. That white one. I could want to buy that car because I want to look... I want to look good. I look like I got money. But somebody else may want to buy that car because you know why? They got more kids. Three new kids. Two new kids. Whatever. The wife has always wanted it. They want to go camping. Or they want to go off-roading. You don't know the why. So you got to ask them. And the way to do that is magic questions. Find out exactly, hey, what does your current you know, car do that your next one must do? You know, what must your next purchase, you know, I have and cannot do without? Uh, what can your next purchase, what can your next product, what can your next service not do without? You know, what must your next purchase or product or service have that your current one does not have? What problem are you trying to solve by purchasing this new life insurance or getting this new cell phone contract or moving from MTN to Vodacom or moving from Celsi to MTN, moving from FNB Bank to going to NetBank? You got to find out the why and the how, uh, I mean, and the, the, the what and the why so that you can demonstrate how, okay? And magic questions is the way to do it. What must your next product have that your current one does not do? Why this product? Why did you decide to do this today? Why now? These are magic questions. Figure out your magic questions, okay? They're all geared around finding out the why. They're geared around finding out the what so that you know how to demonstrate. Otherwise, you're just shooting in the dark, trying to sell somebody a Beamer, okay? This dude wants a Beamer, and he doesn't like Beamers, okay? What he actually likes is maybe a VW. You know, he just got divorced, he had a big car, and now he wants a VW because he's a bachelor gotta find out the why man and the way you're gonna find out the why is if you ask magic questions okay remember that i hope that was helpful i hope you have a 10x day